Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back to ICBM. In this part, it's going to be time to start the nuclear war. Not quite yet, because I don't feel like I'm exactly ready yet. But what I'm currently doing is just preparing for the attack. I have various airborne divisions, courtesy of the mod that I'm running. And that is the Dawn at Midnight mod, linked down below in the description if you want to play it for yourself. And um, this mod introduces the airborne divisions, army groups, and marine divisions. Aside from a whole lot of other stuff, uh, which I'm currently not even using. As you can see, the tech tree has so much stuff in it that you can try all sorts of tactics. You can decide to go for SSBNs or a heavy submarine playthrough. Uh, you could go with projection of power through naval means. Uh, you can go with the super heavy ICBMs, which deliver 50 megaton ICBMs. You can even go for kinetic bombardment using satellites. They're all different sort of plays, all sorts of different combinations, and how you employ those weapons is up to you. My situation, uh, I decided to go with a couple of airborne invasion groups. So these Research are airborne complete. divisions, and they're allowing me to suppress enemy, well... Let's say enemy installations, because I'm trying to hit both radar sites and SAM sites galore to ensure that my aircraft are going to have a very nice and clean approach vector and able to strike anything that I might like. Um, I'm relying on aircraft to deliver nuclear bombs. I currently have 5th generation aircraft. I might as well go for 6th gen. And that's going to allow my aircraft to get upgraded to the maximum tier. What I currently have... Strategic air base is the EB-32, and my fighters are the F-22s. The F-22s, however, are not really the key, as they don't really need to do much damage, because there aren't really any air bases around. I have been able to use the ground forces, the airborne divisions, and the army group that I have patrolling in Russia, to wipe out any air base that happened to get detected by my satellites. So there's really not that much that still needs to get cleared up. It's just these SAM sites that need to get rid of. Uh, this aircraft carrier group might... might sort of accidentally intervene when I decide to attack Africa. But it is a Russian aircraft carrier group. So I'm not particularly worried about them. Now over here I have an airborne division attacking a missile silo, or rather three missile silos as West Africa already has an upgraded variant. I'm currently working on another airborne division, which I'll drop off pretty close to them. And hopefully together we can sort this thing out before it gets the opportunity to unleash its uh, nuclear fury, which it is undoubtedly angling to do. Over here we're going to continue to hit the, the missile silos and continue to research. Now, my strategy very much relies upon delivering a first hammer blow. It's not going to get pretty in Europe very soon. Because the moment that I start striking, I will get fired upon. And I don't have any kind of defenses, nor am I planning on it. Because if I can deliver the first blow, it's going to give me such a high score that, yes, I will take a few hits. But it's usually not going to be easy for the enemy to still overcome my score. Still not seeing any silos in Russia, so that's fine. Second airborne group has arrived. This silo, they've, they've been battering this silo for a while, but so far, unsuccessfully. But between the two of them, I hope they can do it. Yeah, it seems to be losing a steady amount of hit points now. There we go. Alright, I want you to go here, and I also want you to go here and just attack any SAM site along the way. You, get rid of that SAM site. You, get rid of this SAM site. Quickly. There's a SAM site here. There's a radar site there. Not terribly important because they don't seem to have any kind of other deterrence. The only thing I don't know about is the southern part of Africa. I don't know what's awaiting me over there. Warhead production efficiency is now 100%. Which means that it is almost time to initiate strike plan alpha. Hitting Moscow, St. Petersburg, Istanbul. 
I'm a bit hesitant about Karachi and Bombay, considering all the SAM sites in the way. Al Karira is pretty easy to hit as well. There's nothing surrounding it, no defenses. Now Lagos and Kinshasa still have these two SAM sites in the way. So those need to get, well, let's say moved out of the way. And um, let's get rid of this, let's get rid of that. Because these SAM sites could potentially pose a problem. Even if I have stealth aircraft. I'm not sure how good those guys are. I might put laser pods on them. Megawatt class chemical oxygen iodine lasers mounted inside and external hardpoints. Primarily designed as a missile defense system to destroy enemy air-to-air -air missiles. Yeah, okay. Um, I don't really feel like I need those right now. What's an ASBM? Anti-ship ballistic missile. Okay. Designed to hit a warship at sea. Due to the often hypersonic flight speed of ballistic missiles, the ASBM's kinetic energy alone may be sufficient to cripple or outright destroy a supercarrier. Wow. However, unlike a nuclear warhead, this will require a direct hit to be effective. Thus, unlike a typical ballistic missile, which follows a ballistic path, after the relatively brief initial phase of powered flight, an ASBM would require a precise and high-performance terminal guidance system. Yeah, because that thing is coming in at probably several thousand kilometers an hour. Um, with advanced sensors and in-flight calibration in order to successfully hit a moving target. Effective against very large vessels, or large vessels like cruisers and carriers. Interesting. And how do you deliver those? Missile vehicles. Right. Alright, can you guys get rid of these SAM sites, please? Research complete. That's my uh, aircraft upgraded. Um, AWACS is not really what I need. Reconnaissance aircraft, not what I need. Yeah, I might as well upgrade some air-to-air -air missiles because I have super advanced aircraft flying around with 1960s air-to-air -air missiles. What do I have? The Tempest flying around with... <laughs> With a desperately old <laughs> air to air missile. <laughs> okay. That is something that happens with this mod. If you don't upgrade your tech, you can have aircraft basically flying with, well, payloads from the 1960s. Go on. Get rid of these things. Oh, they just upgraded them. And they deployed more of them. Good work. I want you over there, and I want you to go here. You have to take the one, the one next to Riyadh. This one desperately needs to go, because Istanbul is a prime target for me. Take that down. Get over here. Oh, Russia is also starting to defend itself a little better. Interesting. Get rid of these sound sites. Oh, there's a whole bunch more than I'd expected. Yeah, the turtling. Come on. Uh, go over here. Go over there. We still have one over there. Damn. They're spawning these things almost faster than I can kill them. They also have a cruiser group. With some upgraded tech, but nothing too impressive. You know what? I think I can start my offensive. I just need to avoid Bombay and Karachi until these SAM sites are all gone. Which they're probably not going to be. Yeah, yeah. Walk around. It's not that hard. Come on. Maybe I shouldn't even have this airborne division over here because these SAM sites are really not that much of a deal. Production complete. Okay, I have a nice stockpile of 60 megaton bombs, or 60 10 megaton bombs, I should say. Let's go for another strategic airbase. Why not? Now, I think early on the strategic airbase only cost me about 8 minutes to build. I commented on that in the previous video. So it's possible that as your technology improves, the things that you would build just get more expensive. 
I suppose that makes sense. Because you're, well, building an airport now is going to be significantly more difficult, I think, than building an airport in the Research 1960s. Complete. Research is done. We have ad uh, active radar air to air missiles. Um, let's get early SAMs. I'm interested to see if my air group, uh, sorry, my army groups get upgraded. Now, I know there's a cruiser group out here, but it seems like the AI is not doing much to counter these boys here. Okay, status. The route to Karachi and Bombay is clear. The route to Moscow, not yet. There's still something around there. Wiped out. Wiped out. Bangalore has a new SAM site. That's fine. They can have it. These guys have a new SAM site. These have a new SAM site. He's playing just whack-a-mole this whole enterprise of using these uh, airborne divisions. I want that strategic airbase to get completed so that I can start launching my offensive. Because then I can strike with 15 Research bombers complete. at the same time. There we go. Load up with 10 megaton bombs. Um, is there any more tech that I need? First, did my... Yep, these guys now have SAMs. So that's nice. So they can shoot down aircraft. The one thing I do not have is any kind of defense around my cities. I have no anti-ballistic missile defenses. I have no SAM sites. I barely can see what's coming in because I have one radar exactly and the rest of my data is coming in from satellites. So I really don't have much. What I could do is go for laser space weapons and hope... Oh, no, actually, I need to investigate or uh, invest in building laser satellites then. The game's already 2 hours 38 in. I think if I go max science, it'll take me 10 minutes, but then I still have to build them. Well, you know what? It's better than nothing. In the meanwhile, we can keep suppressing SAM sites here. It seems like they finally learned not to put yet another SAM site over here. Over here is fine. That SAM site is done for. Seriously, the amount of SAM sites that I'm crushing over this time is getting pretty substantial. Okay. Research complete. Done. So now I can build laser satellites. A satellite equipped with a directed energy weapon capable of engaging ballistic targets oh, and other satellites. Oh, that's cute. They take five minutes to build. Let's go for a couple of those and ensure that if there is any kind of a ballistic missile launch, I can potentially shoot it down before it hits me. Now, I, as far as I know, that is, it doesn't need to be over Africa, at least not here doesn't need to be over West Asia. Uh, it doesn't really seem to need to be over Russia either. So that just leaves this missile silo. That's potentially going to launch missiles at me. Or at anybody else for that matter. It's the first time that I'm using these, so I might be using them entirely wrong. Okay, so you guys are on a slightly different trajectory. I suppose that the way that the laser satellite is most effective is when you shoot the missile before it splits. So that means I shouldn't have those missile satellites flying over Europe, uh, potentially at all. Just ensure that they can see stuff as it's coming up. So let's say we're going to have one over, what is that, half over Africa, over the US. Yeah, let's do that. And these guys can have a laser with a range of 2800 and a speed of 5000. Let's hope that's good enough. I'm going to go with one more laser satellite, and then it's boom boom time. Production complete. Okay, this one's going to fly over... Um... 
Yeah, South America, a bit of East Asia. That's fine. Okay, so here we go. Strike plan. We're executing plan Alpha. Oh, Jesus, we're not executing plan Alpha. They have not been idle. There are SAM sites popping up all over the place now. Hold on execution. Because if I fly my bombers over these SAM sites, I'm probably going to have all sorts of problems. Come on. Let's work on some more SAM tech, since I'm not doing much of anything. Phase array tracking radars. That's one. Two. There's a whole bunch down here, but I'm not likely to strike that. This one next to St. Petersburg definitely needs to go. And the ones in Africa are suppressed. These ones could could pose a problem in the worst situation. But I'm hoping that I can rely enough on my stealth bombers to not get them killed off. Just need to clear these ones up. Oh, come on. There we go. Another one pops up. <laughs> and another one pops up. Come on. Fuck it. Executing. Execute plan alpha. Executing strike. This plan. is a attack plan that goes after cities, originating from strategic air bases, targeting Russia, West Africa, oh sorry, Africa and West Asia. And they're all timing their airstrikes. Which means that they're only going to strike when everybody's in position to strike exactly at the same time. This is going to be fairly devastating. Let's see, this one's going for Tehran. Uh-oh. Well, they're flying over the SAM sites, but they're not getting shot down. That's good. No, you're not. I think we're almost about to strike. What do we got here? That's a fight between my fighter aircraft and carrier-capable Yak-141s from Africa. Okay. I don't know how well that fight that fight's gonna go. We are active. Okay. Incoming strike. Missile silo in West Asia. Didn't see that coming. Now, as expected, there will be a mass retaliation. Uh, I just hope that they don't target my strategic air bases. I'm almost getting the impression that a city has been bombed. Nevertheless, um, these guys might have been able to strike back, but they only knocked off a few hundred points, whereas they're still negative. Thanks to that early strike that I did. Now I'm waiting for all my aircraft to get rearmed and then we're going again. So again we need to suppress a few SAM sites here and there. And ensure that everybody has a clean way to get in and a clean way to get out. Oh that thing also needs to go. Did we get all our aircraft back? Yeah we did. All the Tempest aircraft survived. At least from this base. All right, manual strike here. Because that silo needs to be destroyed urgently. Why are my Tempest all the way out here? Like, what are you hoping to find? Where are you going? Into the ground. Okay, you just ran out. Silo. Incoming. Boom. Well, I killed it, but not before it was able to launch three... What is that? Three standard, one megaton ICBMs. And put it in. Execute. Target the one next to St. Petersburg and get out of any particular area where you could get hit. Rather important. I hope that these Tempests can fly through this whole hillstorm of... Uh, sorry, not the Tempests, the EB-332s. There's a hillstorm of SAM sites. 
I think so. Look at this wall. Holy shit. They're not hitting me. Hello, headphone users. Can you still hear me? 1,591 points. Population, 72%. Oh, sorry, 51. <laughs> 51%. Uh, GDP is down to 72%. I still have 40 nukes ready. Let's throw in a few more. Uh, now it's just a continuous airstrike. We're not going to synchronize it. We're just going to keep bombing whatever we can find. That is worth a decent portion of points. Let's see, is there anything else that needs to get taken down? How's Russia doing? 79% uh, GDP, 86. That, oh, that's East Africa. That's not my target. 78 and 80. They've hit me a bit harder than that. But fortunately, not terribly bad. Um, interestingly, all my aircraft are alive, but one of my air bases is out. 1700 points. Oh, North America's uh, executing some strike. They too have been hit. South America has also been hit. Pacific's been hit. Yeah, everybody has been hurting. Not necessarily my airstrikes, but destructive nonetheless. Do we really need to bomb Kharkov this much? I mean, not that I mind, but what happens is that a bomber got knocked down by another bomber. Cancel. I want to do another synchronized attack because it seems like what's happening is that the SAM sites, or sorry, no, the SAM sites, the bombers are more of a threat to each other than the SAM sites are. And if I pick, let's say, nine different targets, that's going to hopefully ensure that we won't have any more friendly fire incidents. Executing Execute. Strike plan. See if we can get this one knocked down. Sooner is better. There's quite a few SAM sites around here, but hopefully we can fly through. Yeah, not a problem. Where the hell are you going, though? Are you going all the way over to Novosibirsk? That is ballsy. Cancel attack. I want another strike on... I saw a silo somewhere. Here. I also saw another one. Was it Russia that had one? Because we destroyed the one over there. Or at least somebody did. This is just a collection of SAM sites. This is a larger collection of SAM sites. No, I think we got the SAM sites. Or sorry, the, the, the missile site. No, there it is. Isn't it? There it is. Yeah, it's a... It's a site from East Asia. Now, the site from East Asia is not a direct threat to me, but it is a potential issue because it allows East Asia to get more points. And I can't have that because I want to win this game. Just go and have some fun over here. Deal with that, deal with that. This bomber, undeterred, just flies over one, two, three, four, five SAM sites to eventually end up at the missile silo of East Africa, or sorry, East Asia, and kills it. Now, can I manually fly you home? Production complete. Yep. <laughs> Just zigzagging through their air net. Beautiful. All right, execute. Strike plan. Get rid of this SAM site, ideally before that strike group arrives. If not, so be it. Take that out. So far, 2200 points. The next one has 800, so we're perfectly fine. I mean, sure, Europe looks a bit 
bit blowy. We have lost 55% of the population. But not as bad as the rest of the world. Pollution's up to 33%. Bad as a production here. 68, 65, 67, 70, 78, 77, 86, and 65. City has been bombed. So yeah, they're definitely hurting me more than I'm hurting them. A city has been bombed. But one thing that they're omitting is striking my strategic air bases. So the bombing will continue. Production complete. Still very well these things coming by. You know what? Maybe. Maybe these things are more valuable now. Because the most likely way that they attack me is by those ICBMs. So if I just spam out a bunch of laser satellites, I might be able to take down missiles as they try and hit me. 800 points. There we go, 2900. Picking the right target here? Because everybody seemed to go after Kano over there. Whereas Bangui and uh, <clears throat> Kisangani already had a lot more population left. I think they're not going for the right targets here. <clears throat> Algiers. Yeah, see, those two are valuable. Ish. Uh, 26, 24, 28, 29. There are still points to be had here. 3,000 points. 3,100. Pollution's up to 48%. East Asia. GDP still 84%. East Asia is not getting hit, are you? No, unsurprising, considering the massive amount of SAMs that you guys have. Enemy missile detected! Okay, from where? Oh. <laughs> East Asia. Ooh, yep! Laser satellite got it. Awesome. Well done. We need to have a word with that particular base over there. Because we can't have the those missiles just going after my towns. That's not how this works. Time to finish. 20 minutes. Give me another laser satellite. Here. Anything that East Asia throws at me, hopefully will get neutralized. Oh crap, they destroyed another airbase. Bound to happen, I suppose. Russia's down to 55 GDP. I'm a bit higher at 63. Any strategic targets that I need to hit? Not that I know of in Africa. Oh, missile silo in Russia. Uh, what else? What else? Kabul? Maybe? My army group is all the way over there now. Russia is doing a defense in depth, I think. Considering all the SAM sites that are positioned over there. Boom. Whoa! Too late. At least that missile's not going my way. Looks like they're hitting East Asia. Seoul, maybe. 6.12. 4.69. Oof. How many? 1.4 million dead, and that was a standard one megaton ICBM. Could have been a hell of a lot worse. Hold on, we expended the whole stockpile? Really? Because that means that there's no more bombing. That's not good. Because I'm still ahead by 2,000 points, but I really want to keep it that way. Kill that. Kill these. I think Russia has all but given up. 
West Asia, what are you guys doing? 51% GDP. 26% of your population still alive. Africa, 21% of your population. Russia lost 70%. The Pacific lost 55%. North America lost 52%. South America lost 54%. 38% for East Asia. And I lost 60%. As I said, it wasn't going to be pretty. Never planned on that. But the plan to just do a massive first strike and ensure that I get the points so that I can survive the rest of the match worked. And these little airborne divisions, well, probably not so little in real life, were instrumental in being able to do just that. Bombs again? We do. 29, 23, 18, it's not that special. How about the US? How far can you guys go? Holy shit, we can fly all the way to the US. Okay, the question is, is it safe to strike Montreal? Or are those SAMs gonna cause this thing not to return? You know what, there's 9 minutes 33 remaining. I might as well go. We're not going to hit Santo Domingo. It looks appealing, but they're going to fly right over that destroyer group. Uh, but... Sayara, I think. Belém. Let's go for that. Laser satellites doing a good job keeping the... Well, the majority of the missiles suppressed, I suppose. Oh, dear. Hold off. Uh, there's a few more SAM sites here than I was expecting. These are annoying, these are annoying, and this group... Well, in the worst case, it could hit me. So let's see what else I can hit with that bomber, provided it gets refueled. Let's just hit El Carrera again for 23 points. Oh, it's busy in Belen. We got the strike off, but at the cost of another bomber. 60% pollution, game finishes in 7 minutes. Another laser satellite. Just go more or less over the equator. At this point, I don't really care where I launch those things. Because... I have done the damage that I wanted to do, and I'm just seeing if I can get some more. I'm mostly just sticking it out for the next six minutes. 3,000 points, and nobody's getting close. I have two bombers left. Um, I'm not going to the US. It's too difficult. I could hit Moscow, but there's an army group right next to it. Just let's hit the classics of Moscow and St. Petersburg. What else? Overload. Maybe I can strike that Sam side as well. Yeah, we were too close. Oh, we're still getting hit by something. Population still 40%. What is going on here? Oh, it's the, the Russians with an aircraft carrier. Hold on, what sort of missiles do you guys have? I think those are more advanced than mine. Right? Well, they're not advanced ramjets, and they're not ramjets. Maybe they're using older missiles. At least I haven't lost a single Tempest yet. So either my missiles are more advanced, or these guys are just not capable of doing any... Whoa. <laughs> any kind of reliable damage against my aircraft. And it's probably a combination of both. There we go. So. Victory is Europe's, although... Can you really win this war? Is that doable? You could argue that nobody wins. How about strategic force, though? 
this is uh, military might. Uh, where's my line? Here. I have the most military might. And I think that this is where I built an airbase. This is where I built another one. And this is where I might have lost a few air groups. But you can just see the climb here. Uh, this is an airborne division. Another one, another one, another one, another one. And then at some point I start building up with an army group. And every time that I get something blown up, mostly from... Let's see if we can turn these off. The ones that it didn't hit. Uh, Russia. You can see Russia losing stuff. That's probably when I start hitting their SAM sites. Africa. Also significant dips. And then West Asia. Here. Hit, 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 hit. It's not necessarily all mine, but I definitely contributed a whole bunch. So, that is the mod. I really enjoy it. Uh, Dawn at Midnight has a lot of different ways that you can play it. I decided to go for the airborne groups, but of course you could just ignore that altogether and decide that you want a completely different plan. You want to project power from aircraft carriers. Or you want to ensure that you have a massive turtle of a base and that you go for long range. Okay, goodbye. Pen fell on the floor. Uh, that you have a large base that just throws ICBMs at everybody. Maybe all the way up to the 50 megaton ICBM, potentially with uh, smaller ICBMs which are carrying MIRVs. So you got a lot of potential, a lot of options, and um, I really recommend that you check it out. Dawn at Midnight. Link down below in the description. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the ICBM content, and I'll see you soon for more videos.